All right, just started recording. Today, let's talk about a QA. and uh, a Who wants to come on? Bao, do you want to come on? Does anybody want to come on? Let me, uh, let me talk about the accelerator real quick, one, one last time. Can't stress enough. Guys, this is gonna overhaul your trading. This is a seven to eight hour course. It is, it is actually 997, but I will do something for you today. Only the people that watch this webinar, I will give you to the end of the day a discount on this. We'll figure out a code at the end. But guys, if you are having trouble with psychology, if you are having trouble with setups, if you guys cannot read a chart correctly, um, even some fundamental analysis in this, Joe literally spent six months of his life, dude, six months of his life to create this one video course for you guys. And I mean, I mean, dude, take it from the members, man. Seriously, anybody who's seen it, can you give me like a thumbs up if you liked it? Seriously. Like whoever saw this, did you guys like the accelerator course and did it help you? Maybe I'll bring on a member to talk about it. Seriously. Midtown, it's gold, dude. I love that. Fantastic. Stitch, Kyle, awesome. Michael, awesome. I'm glad you guys like it, man. Seriously, we, we, dude, we do not put out content just to put out content. We only put out stuff that you guys are going to really benefit from. You think we're going to waste our time on just random content? Two-way trader, our new junior mod. Awesome. Loved it. Joined as an annual at the time to watch it. Dude, Kyle, awesome, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you joined annual at the time that I included it for free, dude. Nice. Nice grab. You get the whole picture. Rewatch the bad boy about three times. Yo, MTT DBS watched it three times. Yo, I'm, I'm telling you, man, you got, dude, don't expect guys that just watching one video in our library is going to make you Alex Smart. You got to get the resources. Look, it, the, the reason why the video library is great is it has everything the Accelerator course has. The only problem is guys, it's, it's a thousand fucking videos. So you guys are going to have to go through so much more. Our members said a year ago, they're like, Tosh, Alex, Bao, can you give us everything in a more linear fashion? And we, and we thought about it, dude, we racked our brains. We were like, okay, how do we condense the video library, not regurgitate like the same information, but take it to the next level. And that's what we did for you guys with the Accelerate course. And just to show you guys how much it wasn't a cash grab or anything like that, bro, it was free for the first three months we had it live. It was just so you guys could learn. And then we were like, dude, well, Joe spent six months on it. We're not going to make it for literally free. We got to get compensated for our time. But dude, I'm telling you, this is the game changer. Uh, for those coming in late, let me show you one last time the video library. If you go to myinvestingclub.com, guys, we're going to go to the videos tab. Uh, and three things to take note here, three things. Click here if you're brand spanking new. Here are two videos on how to explain and navigate the structure of what you should be watching first. Second is, go oops. Second is going to be, if I go back, is going to be, here are all our categories. And third, you have a search feature. So if you wanna watch, um, like I showed earlier, oh, like Bao's Golden Nugget, dude, I'm telling you, this is one of the best resources in the MIC possible. Guys, Bao Golden Nuggets, Bao Recaps, and um, where's the driving with Bao? Down there somewhere, driving with Bao. Um, right here, these Golden Nuggets are absolutely freaking ridiculous game changers, man. You, got, you guys gotta watch this stuff, dude. You guys got to watch this stuff. We have such wonderful videos. Cause I hate guys, I hate that if like I get a DM, dude, I got a DM from a member the other day. I got a DM from a member and he was like, Tosh, I, I, you know, I've been in MIC for a couple months and I'm just really not understanding. I said, well, bro, I mean, I, I said, have you checked out our video library, the accelerator course or got on trader calls? And he's like, no, not really. And I'm like, well, dude, what did you just expect to join a community and telepathically understand everything? I said, you got to also have a work ethic and to really understand like what we have to offer is a value. We don't offer it just to offer it. So anybody that's been in MIC for two months, if you haven't watched any of our videos, if you haven't watched the accelerator course and, or you haven't reached out to me or James or Joe Keller or any of our moderators, guys, come on, man. What are you just going to expect to just get it just because you're in a room? You got to still learn. You got to still put in the time to read the live commentary and main trading chat every day, live commentary every single day. This is not like most rooms. We're not entering chat at 10 minutes before the open and you know, getting on you know microphones and pumping stuff or or whatever it is, man. We're actually here all day through through text, through calls if you need them. We got a whole team to help you. Fifteen plus moderators, um, three mentors. We're well, it's really just all the same thing. There's no hierarchy in MIC. 
Um, and we're here to help, man. There's so much for you guys. They will be stuck doing that till they die. Yep. Wait, what? Need someone to go through my videos and beep? <laughs> yeah, Val, I think I've probably dropped about four since this started. So I don't know. <laughs> we're going to need a really, really patient human being. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yep, they will be stuck doing that until they die. Some of us are in chat for 4 a.m. and earlier stay after hours all the time. Dude, Midtown's, Mid, I see Midtown. He's one of the most active members, bro. This guy is putting in work. And guess what? I am not going to expose his journey, but I'm telling you right now, man, he is absolutely seeing huge progress, bro. And there's no coincidence that Midtown's always in every webinar. He's always listening. He's always reading. He's always taking notes. He's always commenting back and forth. And the dude is getting it big time. Midtown is downtown, uptown, all over town. <laughs> Yo, what's the rap album drop? So what do you guys want to talk about? What do you guys want to talk about today? What is getting in your way? Um, do you guys have any things that you want me to? Oh, yep. Hell yeah, dude. Let me just bring on the master. <laughs> Let me just bring on the ninja. Yo, what am I talking for? Let me bring on the veteran, baby. Now you should be good to go, buddy. Hey guys, you hear me? <clears throat> yeah. Fuck, What's does this on? work? Testing, fuck, does this work? Fuck. <laughs> Two fucks <Yeah>. already. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, can you hear me? <laughs> okay. yeah, and strike three, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, one, one comment about the accelerator. The, the reason I talk about the accelerator because people, people are confused. They, they, they see the video library and they're like, they're like, holy shit, there's a thousand videos. Yep. But this is how we envision the video library to be used, guys. So the accelerator is like a Cliff Notes edition, right? So it goes through everything in seven and a half hours, but you cannot learn everything in seven and a half hours. You need to then drill down to each topic you want to hear. So if you want to know about VWAP, boom, there's a ton of videos on VWAP, SSR, things like that. But within the accelerator, there might be just you know, 15 minutes of conversation about what VWAP is, right? And so that's how you use it. And so bring, bring up the video library again, the study, the study guide. Yep, one sec, buddy. Uh, let me, I get, I mean, I, when you guys join, guys, uh, read your email. Don't be lazy. Follow the directions. There's a greet bot that tells you all this stuff. Go into the video library, and then there's a the study guide right here. What, what do we call it, study guide? Let me, let me actually go to the video library, because you can have it on, you can have it under my MIC or phase study guide, but it's right here, guys. Click this phase study guide. Yep, right there, guys. So you go through that list of order. And if you're really serious about this, I, I, I'm telling you, man, you got to get the accelerator, guys. If you're new to trading, get the accelerator. Don't be cheap. I mean, don't we, we, we have to price as something. It's pretty damn cheap compared to everything else out there, right, guys? Well, we got to keep the lights on, for God's sake. Seriously. Because <laughs> uh, what, what that does is it gives you a huge overview. Then it gives you structure of where to begin. Because otherwise, if you're brand new to trading, you're going to be so overwhelmed. And a lot of you guys are probably too lazy to even go through the study guide. <laughs> so at least you have the, at least you have the seven and a half hour course accelerator, right? That you can pop in and listen to while you drive to work. Yep. I would say, I would say, Bao, the majority of our videos, man, I mean, half of education is not even needing to see it. It's just listening to it. So like Bao just said, guys, if you're blasting rap music the whole day while you're in traffic, you are having so much opportunity cost in just having Bao's psychology repeat and repeat and repeat in the background or James's live trading or, or whatever it is, man. There are so many videos where, dude, you will benefit so much by just listening to and don't waste yeah. it to drive to work. Seriously. Uh Unfortunately, there's no more driving to work, but you know. Yeah, no, yeah, you know what I mean. Just drive around town, drive whatever yeah, it is. That's, that's what I was saying. So you just pop it in, and this is basically like, you know, you, you listen to it. The more that's that's what the live is for. Like Alex's live, my live, things like that. Uh, they're meant to be psychology lessons, and they're they're like 40 minutes each week. And so you listen to it while you're working out, whatever. Right here, guys, this is our content structure. You can, you can actually take a screenshot of this if you want so you can show up every single day to the lives, to the you know, IG lives, YouTube lives. Never miss anything, man. We pump out content um, all the time for you guys because you need to be updated. It, things are always changing. Like, Val, you want to talk about this crazy market that we're in? Dude, we're, people that are not adapting on the short side are getting absolutely murdered. And we're seeing, we're seeing it. We're cracking the code. So th th this is the process that we teach, man. We, we, we are very boring people. We're not going to have the 
big as PLs. We're not, you're not gonna see like a million, two million we used to, but that was when I was a gunslinger, right? And that's that that takes like 15 years to get to that point. And so now we teach what how we trade. So we are very conservative now. Conservative doesn't mean we, does not mean that we're not making money. I mean, show show them like uh, how how little they need to make money. Tosh, the uh, go to my Twitter, two hundred bucks a day. Uh, one sec, buddy. Here, let, let me post it also in the room. I gotta. So this is what you guys need to remember, guys. I gotta get a direct link. The, the reason I'm telling you guys all this stuff is the markets are really crazy right now. Here it is. You guys, Every, check this out. Everybody wants to make millions of dollars, and but they don't understand. The way to make millions of dollars is through making 200 bucks a day. So if you can, if you can consistently make 200 bucks a day, dude, that's $50,000 a year already. And then you can slowly scale up. <laughs> so in these markets, people are getting rich, but they're not staying rich. Like GME, oh. right? Everyone got rich on GME. Are they going to stay rich? No. They, the GME's at 40 bucks now. What's GME at? Dude, uh, let me check. Oh my God, bro. I have a story about GME, man. I had a friend. Holy shit, 53. So I had a friend that made some money on the way up, right? Like I met a lot of people that bought at 50, sold at 300, but I had a friend that bought and didn't sell, bro. They're down on their position from like a 240 average. I mean, they're not in big, but I told them every $10 down, I said, what are you holding on this diamond hand shit for, man? I've seen this pattern play out for seven years. Cut this shit. <laughs> they didn't, dude, they didn't. They're still holding it. Like, the guys that, that bought at hundred bucks, they were up a ton at $40, $50, and now they're down. So think about that. Yep. And the next guys to get hit is because this Dogecoin, Dogecoin. Dogecoin. <laughs> well, because people, people aren't doing the actual research. They just think Dogecoin is the next Bitcoin. You don't know that Dogecoin is practically an unlimited resource. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter what, what it is. The point is you have to have a process. That's what, we, that's what we teach you, right? You have to sell, man. You can't, I mean, there, there's very, I mean, it's like a lottery ticket. These guys that held the Bitcoin and everybody's thinking it's the next Bitcoin. You know what the next Bitcoin is? It was the old Bitcoin. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, for real. All right, guys. So, 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 I guess answer questions, Josh, and we'll be. Yeah, guys. So, if you have any questions, post your questions right now. Me and Bal will definitely talk about them. You know, deconstruct the chart. Oh, I want to. I want to talk about this before we. Um, the twelfth is Lunar New Year. That's Chinese New Year. So, uh, Oliver created a nice shirt, guys. So, in the store, you know, usually we 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 bring stuff to meetups, but we don't have any meetups, unfortunately. So. You're gonna to have to order one on the store. Uh, we would give you some, but the shipping is a pain in the ass. So we that's that's why we have to, that's why we use in the store. Yeah, guys, go to the site, check out some cool stuff, man. We don't so even sure. pump this or I'm anything. Sure. We don't even plug sure. our store because do we lose money on this? Technically, <laughs> this is just so you guys can rep our wonderful brand, man. We don't make any money on the store. This is just so you guys can have awesome swag. Yeah, we, we don't need any of this stuff. Maybe like a dollar to pay for the resource that we hosted on. <laughs> yeah. And then and then Bao, every time like we do those free like Bao drunk giveaways, dude, we give it all back. Any profits that were made. Seriously, but, but, but this yeah. is this is the P and L curve of the MIC uh, memorabilia shop to the moon. <laughs> so guys, hit us with your questions. Hit us with everything right now. You got Bao, you got me, and I know Ninja Alex will probably chime in if, if, if you direct a question his way. <laughs> Nobody got questions. Dude. Everybody came for free shit. We didn't have any free shit. Everybody came for free shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, where's the lifetime giveaway? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> So these were the runners today, man. O L E O L B A U V I, which is a low hanger, B H T G and uh Seagate. Low hanging fruit O C G N. Yep. You got a question on that, HD? Anybody on uh, YouTube? Let me see. Let me let me look at the YouTube stuff. Um how are you guys handling can you show you how finding strongest stocks, strongest lines? Now, what was the question? I don't know. We do the YouTube stuff. See, they didn't have any questions at all. Dude, oh, really quick though, Bao, what did you were, you were telling uh, Alex and myself earlier where this applies to W Halicon's uh, question of how are you guys handling these insane bounces? Dude, the key to this market is Bao crack the code this, this morning, dude. I, it's size down and give yourself room, Bao. You want to talk about that real quick? 
No, because they got a joint. <laughs> <laughs> they drink way too much. Guys, I'm, I'm telling you, man, if you lost more than 200 bucks today, this month, why are you not in MIC? Seriously. Dude. I mean, I, I mean, you guys, you know what the, you know what it is? I, this is? This is what someone keeps telling me. They were, dude, they, how many times a week have we said, well, have we heard members, not members, but guys on the internet saying, thank you for the free content. I use that free content to make money. And I'm thinking, do we give away too much stuff on, on for free on YouTube? Apparently, think, people can just learn how think to about this, guys. Content. <laughs> if, you, if you are making money off of free content, imagine how much more you can make if you join. Right? That, that's the thing. The free content is for you to help yourself get to the position where you can afford 200 bucks a month. But when you make $200 a month, that's not going to be making you rich. You know, you, you should join MIC with that money. That, that's the whole point of us helping you out. We are giving away tons of free content so that you can get started to the point where you can join. Well, again, because you're not, not going to learn everything on the YouTube free, guys. I'm telling you right now. Dude, you're, you're not going to learn half of it. And here's the thing, Bao. It's, like it's like that common misconception. Oh, I'll invest in my education once I trade profitly and make money to pay for it. It's backwards, dude. What? Like you're going to yeah. then pay for education on the money that you were gambling because you, you, you weren't educated? You, you, will, you will end up learning the wrong way, getting lucky, thinking getting lucky is the right way to trade, blow up, and then spend another two years trying to unlearn the bad habits. Dude, correct, 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 correct. So the number one thing that we recommend to you guys is, and dude, it's not even like, of course, we're promoting MIC because this is the only place where you're going to learn how to actually really trade. But dude, it's invest in education on a general broad perspective, right? You don't go into any industry saying, oh, I'll try it myself and see if I can make money. And then I'll pay to learn the fundamentals and the basics of it. It's not even MIC. It's you guys got to pay to play, man. What do you think this is? A free lottery ticket? The, the stock market? It's not, dude. People who are un uneducated get raped, dude. They get smoked. So we have Elijah on YouTube asking thoughts on SNDL long-term one year. Dude, bro. what the fuck? <laughs> bro, this stock, this stock was like 50 cents, man. Bro, look at where it came this, from. This, this, this is, this, I mean, this, this, these stocks are nothing but vehicles for you to pump and dump and make quick bucks. That's it. Brother, okay. does this look like this is not a, you, it's like GME. I have guys asking, what's the 10 year plan for GME? I'm a like, dude. <laughs> You're not going to make it to fucking 10 days. <laughs> 10 guys, days later, it's fucking dead. First of all, we don't have a crystal ball, guys. It's not, we're not like pure investors like Warren Buffett. But in second, dude, is this something that you want to hold for 10 years? Dude, look where it just came from. It came from a dollar. And bro, draw a trend line of price. Are you fucking kidding me? This is what you want to hold for a year to 10 years? Dude, I mean, I mean, I mean, the only thing we say to that is, look, dude, if you're not going to become educated, good luck. Like, Bro, the chart is telling you how unacceptable a thought like that is. Look at where this shit came from, dude. 50 cents, not even a month ago. If you, if you join MIC, you learn there's a three-day rule, things like that, guys. So what happens is these stocks do not go up forever. You're going to take a giant-ass dip. Yep. And usually it's the day three. You got to be careful. Every, I mean, the, the greed. So what happens is this, man. <laughs> the, the moment that, that you get excited, you're going to tell your friend. And they start buying on day two. And then they, they make money on day two and they're telling their mom. On day, uh, and then the mom is buying day three. So who's left to buy day four? Right? And so the, the, so the moment it starts to sell, the guy on day one starts to sell on day three, it starts to crater. And then whoever is the last to buy, I call this the greater fool theory. All these stocks are based on the greater fool theory. Yep. Which is, you know what, man? I'm going to find another dumb fool dumber than me more foolish than me to buy the shares off because like monkey, this shit was monkey, 50 dude. cents dude i mean look it's trading a billion shares and you know what there's a big difference between stocks and bitcoin with stocks they can print paper dilution anytime they want bitcoin you cannot bitcoin is a finite number it's a very low flow bitcoin that's the reason why Guys that own Bitcoin can hold it for a long time because they're not worried that it's going to get diluted. Correct. So imagine stocks where they can mine new coins every fucking millisecond if they wanted to. Except Dogecoin. Dogecoin's kind of the new exception. 
So that, that's the whole point. People don't understand that you know, Bitcoin crypto is not stocks. Stocks, you got guys inside that is selling paper to pay for their houses, to pay for their salary. Right. These are nothing but fucking pump and dumps. And so don't even think about one year. I, I'm, I'm thinking, what's the fuck shit is going to do for the next hour? <laughs> so we have a three-day rule, guys. So take a look at this. So it's a whole number of resistance, three bucks right now. Who the hell knows? Tomorrow might be more, but but you're you're playing hot a game of hot potato. There's a there's a term I use. It's called stair step up, elevator down. Look how slowly it goes up right now. It takes a billion, two billion. It's traded two billion shares. When it comes down, they pull the fucking rug. Who's left to hold the bag? To hold the bag, guys. It's gonna go straight down to two bucks. But when your aunt and uncle start asking you, hey, is SNDL a good investment? That's mostly, that's most likely a time short. That's probably day three or four when the run is dead. So someone asked, do you need accelerator to join MIC? I mean, if you join MIC, MIC doesn't come with accelerator. So, you know, you can get right. the package through Tosh. So I'm, uh, I'm Tosh, actually, doing, order. Guys, I'm actually so this, doing right now, not to give, not to give too much detail, just text me, but I am doing an actual introductory month bundle with the MIC accelerator course for an actually really good price right now. If you guys want to text me that type, just text me that. So that's, that's good. I didn't know about that. That's good, man. That's so, the so best Tosh, way to Tosh is giving a great deal right now, guys. So the guys that attend the webinar, um, the first month plus accelerator bundle deal. So it's just um, the best way to start possible. So fancy orders. Okay. This is a good, this is a good question right now. Someone asked like, what was, uh, talk about putting, sure, Val, let's talk about, let's talk about OLE, OLB today. Right. So like, um, tell, no, me really, that, tell me that not, wasn't the fantasy order nail and bail. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was not talking about any stock specific. Oh, <laughs> I was like, dude, we're going to give away too much info. Uh, they're going to fucking join, dude. No, but, 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 but what I figured out is this, guys. So these new algos, take a look at the spread. The spread is pretty fucking wide in a lot of these stocks. They used to be one penny. Now they're like five cents to, to fit 10 cents, five cents to 10 cents. So I've noticed that the algos are spreading things much further wide. That This is to because there's so much volume. They are now trying to capitalize on the volume. The bigger the spread, the more money the market makers on make the money, right? Because bid versus offer, right? So they're making the spread and they're matching orders. This is what Robinhood does, right? They sell the flow to, to third world, uh, third world, <laughs> which is third party. <laughs> um, and so, so what happens is I've noticed this. Guys are using hotkeys are getting fucking chewed up. When you're hot keying shit, which means you're market ordering, you're dying. You're at the mercy of them feeling it at whatever price you they want. It's like a fucking prost. I wouldn't say that. Wait, what is it? <laughs> why do we keep using these terms? <laughs> is that what we you're know? <laughs> it's it's like you sell yourself, sell your car, and saying, you know what, man, give me your best offer. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> right? What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck puts up their car and says, you, you, you give me what the fuck you want. I'm going to market order, sell this car. What the fuck? <laughs> you, you see? It's like you should never use a fucking market order on these stocks, guys. You will fucking get raped. And that's what they're doing. And so fantasy orders are basically just limit orders that you put at the lines that you want. This helps a couple of things. It curves. It eliminates FOMO because you have the orders in place. The orders are there. You sit back and you take a look and you just wait for the orders to hit. If the orders don't hit, they don't hit. But if you are hot king, market ordering, you are fucking constantly FOMOing. That's a FOMO trait to be chasing stocks using market orders, hot keys, macros, whatever you want to call it. Love it. Well said. Uh, next question. <clears throat> Uh, what type of strategies can people that can't afford PDT levels at the moment use to be able to effectively make profit? So with PDT, you get three trades a week. Yeah. Like so we, we, we have a strategy called the first bounce, which dude, I've, I've actually made the most money off of my trades off of first bounce versus shorts this week. <laughs> yes, <laughs> these, stocks, these stocks are fucking crazy, man. Once I find a stock that's, um, so BBTH was it today? Yeah, dude. I mean, Fuck, dude. Let me, let me show you. I just traded small size too. You, you guys saw the orders I did on BBTH, right? They're not big at all. Okay, let me let me show you what I made on that. Just, I mean, I'm using 700 fucking shares, guys. Cause I'm scared of shit on BBTH. And guys, it's all relative, but that's very small for Bow. That's very small position size, right? And it's effective as hell, man. 
And this is just off of the first bounce and shorts and all that shit. I mean, I'm not saying this is nothing. I mean, it's yeah, great job, geez, but shit, seven fucking shares. Yeah, but you do that every day, Val, and you're, you've got a consistent training career for the next 100 years, man. That's the point. So this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. So, so with the PDT, you're limited to three trades a week, but fuck, if you're putting in 500 shares of BPTH and this sucker is bouncing $2, that's a thousand bucks. You can do three times a week. I'm fucking cool with 3,000 every, every two weeks, right? <laughs> so, so that's just off BBTH. So B, the pattern day trader rule is actually helpful, guys. I'm telling you, for guys that don't know how to trade because it makes you focus on three best trades yep. versus, versus like, oh, I hear a lot of stories where the guys go from PDT to over and then they blow up. Because all of a sudden, they started to gamble. They, they're trading every fucking stock. Well, yeah, just because they can now. Yep. So that's it, guys. So PDT actually helps you. So focus on strategies like like today, BPTH. When that thing is so deviated. So we, we have a concept I, I created called deviation from the VWAP. So the further away the stock is from the VWAP, the more stuck one side of the trade is. And so you can use that information to your advantage. Damn, so I want to I want to post the chart for that Val, but I feel like that's giving too much information away. <laughs> These three guys. Yeah, you you can post that if you want. That that that, that one's okay. I'll post uh, I'll think, post this. I think, Harry, I think Harry made a chart on that too. It's so fucking effective, dude. It's so unbelievably effective. It's so simple yet so effective. I'll post it for you guys. One second. The people keep thinking, man, that you know, like oh, they, they keep asking questions like how much over VWAP. That's that's not the point. You can have a t scientific like a ratio and stuff. But the, the point of what I'm trying to say is a lot of people just look at VWAP blindly, but they don't understand that, you know, that, that is a, a gauge, a meter of who the fuck is stuck. Right. And the more someone is stuck, you can keep abusing them on that side. And Guys, seriously, look, look at how simple it is, man. Seriously, look at how simple. Over here, shorts are really stuck. Shorts are stuck just above you up. Longs are stuck once they get under technically, and longs are very stuck on here. It's it's like it's like a psych psychological level that you can pay attention to. And nothing, as Bao said, is an exact exact science. Welcome to price action. If it was, we'd all own private islands. But dude, this is a great guide for you guys to start to say, oh man, so. This is why I've been getting fucked every time I short while it's teasing this VWAP level, or this is why I've been getting screwed if I'm, you know, uh, whatever, whatever. Just, t just yeah. Because you know, right, man, at some point you are so far deviated away, far away from VWAP that it's very hard to recover. You, Correct. You, you should just hang in the bag and switch to the other side. Correct. That, then that's what we did. So I've been going long a lot of these. Stocks that very deviated. For example, BPTH this morning was like four or five bucks deviated. And so, so the first bounce is going to work fantastically and very safe. It's because whoever is stuck is fighting to get out at those levels and you're making their life more miserable by, by competing with them for the fills. Well, and think about it like right here, right, Val? Like during the morning, man. Like if you are shorting right here, dude, you're squeezed to death. And when you're shorting right here, you're still squeezed to death. And like, dude, you can't weather a move from 20 to 25. Sure, it comes back down. But you're if you're just holding from, you know, you're short at 20 and hold it through 25, you're gambling. But here's the key, man. What And these are certain price levels and times that you actually have in it. We won't get into too much of that on our free webinar. But guys, there's a certain time frame where once it starts breaking VWAP during that time frame, that's a safe short. We're not talking about right here in a freaking zombie hour. We're talking about like right here. And then you can see why maybe they don't bounce and reclaim during this time because of this standard deviation or this deviation from VWAP. You see what I'm saying? And, and you know what, man? For the more advanced person, you know, you can start talking about ratios and percentages uh, deviated and things like that. There's, nope. whole probably, there's probably a whole science behind this, which I'm not going to get into. But, but the point is I'm just trying to express to you, don't just look at VWAP as VWAP. Look at it as who is stuck. And by thinking in that manner, I think your trading will be much better because then you'll realize, oh, fuck, I'm fighting the trend. Because a lot of the times people talk about what's the front side and the back side. It's basically do not fight the trend. And the VWAP is telling you what the trend is. Yeah. If we teach one thing at MIC, guys, it's how to not be stupid. It's how to not fight trend. All the trend fighters in all these rooms, they get obliterated. When you start actually writing trend with our time zones based on trading, dude, you have a serious edge. We're not teaching you to be a fucking hero, man. We're teaching you how to nail and bail and ride trend like a surfer and then get out, dude. Take your money and get out.
and then do it again tomorrow and then do it again for the next five years. Do it again for the next freaking 20 years, whatever, man. If you're confused on this we walk thing, put yourself in the shoes of either a short or a long and that will make sense. Yeah, that's one of the best ways is seriously, you have to think about both sides as you enter. A lot of the times me, Alex and Bao are entering on people's exits. Do you understand what that means? So you have to think about that when Harry's entering on a first bounce, vice versa for a long into a short. Who is stuck? Are shorts and struck or a long stuck? Now, as NDL is tanking, see? So <laughs> yeah, you know what, dude? Now, we actually do give alerts in MIC. We give alerts based on, on what not to touch. <laughs> I, 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 forgot, I forgot to short that shit. Fuck. <laughs> ah, I knew it. It's okay, man. Whoever traded it, Venmo bow 10% and we'll call it even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, look at that big tank, guys. Ooh, from three Which one are you looking at, though? Which one are you looking at? FNDL. FNDL? One second. SNDL. Oh, SNDL. 2.18 billion shares traded. Oh, shit. Bow called the three line. That's what that, yep. I said three bucks, man. Good. You called it 25 million volume in that one channel alone, bro. Damn, 25 million volume candle. That's crazy. <laughs> Just insane, man. This, That's this, nuts, dude. What happened to the markets, man? This would, bro, we, we'd be lucky to have 6 million to 14 million volume on a chart three years ago. <laughs> it's crazy. It's different it's, times. It's just insane. I, this is why you got to be very careful. I think these are, I think the market's blowing itself off. Uh, and then I think, I think it's going to be a big correction this year, guys. Oh, shit. Am I in? I am in a 268 on the first bounce. I have another word at 258. So 268, I'm in. For those who are not familiar, guys, Bao is actually long this on a first bounce. He is not shorting this. This thing is going straight down. Reason why is look at this front side. This is not backside whatsoever yet. So Bao is comfortable with a first bounce type. V wall. Oh shit. V wall is actually 271. <laughs> So this is the area that if it bounces, it better fucking bounce. Otherwise, I'm, I'm out. So no big deal. Because I'm in at 268. That's a good entry. That's a good starter, at least. You got this consolidation level. I, right? have, one, I have one bull on this because it's the... Uh, well, actually, the VWAP's 245. 245, well, I'm good. bro. You have room. <laughs> you have tons of room. You have right here as well. Yep. And I'll just scale out to the 290. That's exactly right. I have orders at yep. the 280. Yep. The guys, with the support levels. With the consolidation points, that will probably scale out around as it gets back up here. Because now that it's cracking a little bit from the top, he's not looking to ride this back to 330. The whole point is a nail and bell scalp called the first bounce. We teach this every single day in our room. So if you guys want to learn plays like this, see, he's already up. I'm not out yet, but I just posted that to show you that. You, you see, I was shorting, and then I realized I'm wrong. And so I got out, and I waited. And I should have shorted on top of three bucks, but we were doing delivery here. So I have orders out at 277, just to get out rid of half, which, so I always sell half on the way up. So which cushions the hole. So now I'm writing free shares, right? If I'm out half at 277, it means the rest of my order is free. And I cut my losses at, at where I bought it. No, because what's the worst that can happen? You break even. That's why Bao's saying that. It's not even a break even. I'm going to, I'm going to make money on half of my order. Yep. You saw the genius of selling on the way up half? Genius, man, because it's a free trade at that point when you sell half. Yeah, so there here we go. There we go. Half. Nice. Exactly. So I have the – then I, now I'm writing pretty much free shares, guys. That's exactly right. Look at this. I can never – I cannot lose. I locked in half yep. for 10 cents. So, Bal, all you would do is go, get out even on your second half, right? Yep. That's, That's exactly it. right. <laughs> and I'm still you know, I'm writing free, guys. Dude, why do we we're, dude, we teach way too much on these webinars, bro. We gotta stop making these free webinars. And and imagine if they did that on GME, they will never lose. Oh fuck. <laughs> All right, guys. If you sold your order halfway to your destination, the rest is fucking a free hold. Dude, seriously. <laughs> I don't give a fuck with the last, you know what I'm saying? Got two sixty eight and I got I got out half of it at, you know. Guys, one of the things we specialize in MIC is the beauty of entries. Entries is arguably, literally, outside of hard stops and obviously protecting your freaking account above anything, 
is, is the beauty of an exit based on a good entry and your exits are always gonna be a hundred thousand times easier, bro. If you have a good entry, <laughs> dude, look at this, look at this, our freaking members, dude, they always, they have the same charts as us, man. Look at this, Val. Look yeah. at this. I'm yep. telling you, that's what Jack you. proves it. I mean, this shit works, guys. It, it proves the process, dude. Every single member has the exact same charts as us these days because what we teach is truly repeatable, guys. We're not in a room swinging massive PLs where you guys can't catch up to us. Like everything is the levels, the lines, and for certain reasons. So, so it, what I do now is I put a stop. I have a hard stop now at 265. That's exactly right. And that's it, man. There you All go, right. Flash. Okay. There you go. So I set up a hard stop at 265. That's it, guys. Here's the thing, guys. Bao could have exited all of it with a 10 cent profit, right? He could have, but he's trying to show you guys for the sake of this example. I, I exited two thirds, so. Yep. So I'm out the rest. Dude, so. I can't make money on two thirds, so, you know? You see how that works, guys? No stress. Horse bounce. Nice. Nice job, guys. Wow, three traders did the exact same. Yep, awesome. I mean, a quick 10 cents, if you have a thousand shares, it's a hundred bucks, dude. How long did it take to make a hundred bucks at Walmart? Working at Walmart, right? Dude, seriously, it, it, construction, it's a full day's work, man. Right there, take a look at that. I sold two thirds at, for 10 cents, and I sold the one third for even. So guys, you have to understand what this is. If Bao shorted, so let's just say for the sake of the argument, we'll give you a hypothetical, but say a thousand shares right here. If he covers 750 shares right here, he's totally in the money, right? And then if he stops out on 25% of his position on a break even trade, bro, it's a three quarter win. Like you guys have to understand how repeatable and simple this is. Like it's very doable, man. So this is the process we teach guys. We're not going for home runs. Uh, this is on a day two or three. I mean, this shit may fucking not even come back. Who the hell knows? Right. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be looking to hammer this shit at three bucks and above. Oh, hell yeah, dude. This is, this is probably going to be a sick short tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for putting this on our radar, guys. <laughs> yep. Show, show my chart, Tosh, where I sold and then you saw yep. the other the other. I just sold it for even. See, I mean, yep, that was short in the morning and then realized it was a little front side. So then he, no, 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 uh, the, the recent one. I hear no, no, I know. I'm just going through it all. And then, it, and then, guys, he went through, uh, yeah. Yeah, this yeah, stuff that's it. I mean, if, if you wanted to, you can add more there. Do what the hell you want to do. But the point is, the, the process says you got to sell some. If, if I locked in 10 cents, that's my 10 cents cushion. That's exactly right. Now I get fake. I don't care. I'm still, you know, I'm still up. But Bao, if you had those, it, bro, if you had those diamond hands, man, you could ride this before. <laughs> <laughs> cubic zirconia, man. <laughs> Bao's got cubic zirconia hands. In and out, baby. In and out. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're proud to have feather hands. I'm telling you, dude. Feather hands keep trading for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Diamond hands eventually don't fucking trade. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Oh, shit. No, you should have had diamond mitten hands. All right, yeah. who's got more questions? More questions, guys. Do you understand what Val just did and what we talked about and how to scale this, how to do this? Um, this is still not backside, so this is why it was a good first bounce. And also, because it is cracking a little bit on like a day, well, I would call this more a day two than a day three because this is almost a non-existent day. But if this is day two, it's never a good idea to long and hold. Does that make sense? So you don't want to be longing this and then wait overnight and pray it gaps up. That's just a terrible uh, risk reward factor. Bao is taking the very quick scalp that is predicted. We have a term in MIC called expected, quote unquote, expected trades, whether it's a first bounce, a death line, or, you know, a fantasy order, in which case you are, you should be about a 90% chance to get the expected move that you want. And this is why we preach Neil and Bell where he's in, he's out, and then rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. And by the end of the month, dude, you have compiled uh, expected trade after expected trade after expected trade into a big, into a big. Uh, the, key is, the key is all based around our line system. Yes. Know where the lines are. And that's what I did. I didn't have any fear. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? I'm wrong. I take a loss. I take a management loss. What's the fear, right? Yeah. What's I, the fear? I, I size accordingly. If you're fearful, it means you're size way too much. You know what, Val? That's actually something we should probably talk about because I got a lot of PMs this week on guys saying, you know, Tosh, I understand price. Let's do that next week. Make them come next week. We'll talk yeah. about the psychology next we'll, week. About we'll, that. we'll talk about the psychology of getting into a trade and not being fearful and what eliminates fear because that's a whole subject in itself, man.
Yeah. We'll do that all my Instagram lives. These are all on there, guys. Drive yep. with Val and Instagram live. <laughs> Everybody's just like, give away free quarterlies, give away free lifetime. <laughs> Dude, we got a lot of viewers, man. Nice. I'll give free COVID. <laughs> Come over. <laughs> I'll get some free COVID. <laughs> I'm waiting for free COVID. I have to pay for COVID. <laughs> you have to pay for COVID? Oh, shit, man. Every time I go to the golf course, I have to hit the, gar the car girl for COVID. <laughs> Crash and burn, man. Are we good? Any, any other questions, guys? So let me uh, – hey, Tosh, ask you, why, what's stopping them from joining? We really want to know as a survey to see what we can do better. Like, what is the real reason? Are you cheap or you can't afford to no bucks? Or, guys, true. You know, like, Truly, what is stopping you from paying? Think about it. Think about this. See, these are for the YouTube guys. There are out, there's 102 of you guys watching on YouTube. What, to be honest, like, what, what is it? Is it too much money? Is, or are you too cheap? Or, I mean, you be honest. No one knows well, who you are. And here's the thing, guys. It's like a lot of people think they come in MIC and they just get locked down forever. Guys, you, look, we don't give refunds, but you can cancel if you want to or you can't afford it. That's not a problem. But what's stopping you from coming in for a month? What's it, like, like six bucks a day, 197 bucks, man. Seriously, I, I don't Stop see it. Your Franky lattes, man. You're freaking all oh, about, dude. Diamond hands would have paid out, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to touch it anymore because, uh, but the thing is, is this would have worked because the, the shorts are fucked. This is the deviation from VWAP that I'm talking about. Uh, VWAP is 245. And if you are stuck 245 short, you're screwed. See that you're guy? Right? That's why I took that trade. See yep. that? I looked at the VWAP. I knew it was deviated. I knew it was a very relatively safe trade. I just needed to know the correct line. That is why we posted this. Dude, this is clockwork. If you guys don't know what we talked about today, if you don't understand this, then you simply, bro, I'm just going to be blunt, don't understand price action. Because again, every setup or every strategy that we teach at MIC is not because MIC likes it. It's because it's what it's how to read a freaking chart, dude. There's only one way to read a chart. There's literally one way. There's the lines and you are either fighting trend or you are not fighting trend. And that is going to be the biggest discovery you will ever have into breaking into consistency from being a not profitable trader. Are you a fighter or trend or are you not now use the lines in accordance? Oh shit. Look at this. Girls trade two or PL curve, April, May, June, July, August, September, treading water, joins MIC in December, boom. I hope uh hope you're not offended by all these uh <laughs> jokes we make. Unless girls trade two is uh, a catfish name. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, seriously. No, we're look, man, we're here to have fun. We're not polished. We're here to joke around. We're here to laugh. We're here to be a little bit of entertainment for you guys. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this total PC culture. Seriously, guys. It's all about intent, in my opinion. You know, my, my, my best friends make jokes about Asians all the time. You know, no big deal to me. It's about intent. You know, if you take things out of context, then, of course, you're going to be butthurt. But you know, this is what MIC is about. It's a, it's, we're trying to bring back that family fun environment. Yeah, correct. You know, and so you join. This is why we are very, very protective of our own. If remember last, last, uh, last another month, I chewed some guy out. Kick, well, that was just last week. <laughs> well, bro, this is why. I booted him. I banned him. I booted him. Kicked him off. You know. Yep. You know, he, you know, he's calling people motherfuckers. There's a difference between jokes and calling people motherfuckers. Right? Guys, so. we've literally kicked two members out in the last month because they just weren't our people. They just, I'm telling you, they were just more so on the negative side of life and we don't tolerate that. Why do you think we have a screening process into lifetime? If you think MIC is a cash grab and you're just going to be expect to pay us for a lifetime and you're in forever, you're out of your mind. We screen. We make sure you are our clientele. In fact, not only we, Val, Alex, and myself are the mods, dude, the members will call your nasty ass out quicker than you can blink if you're a negative person. <laughs> Bro, the members go hog wild. <laughs> so um, I think girls actually make better traders because they, they, they are more Without patient. Them. They don't, as uh, Faye used to say, they, she doesn't have balls. <laughs> balls <laughs> is the reason why we fuck up, right, guys? 100%. Too much testosterone, too much uh, aggressiveness. Not of patience. Dude, Faye is like that perfect combination of like one of the dudes as a girl. She's, I had to have been like a tomboy as a kid, but she's a girl, dude. And she's freaking way better than all of us. So it's like, it's like, dude, it's like, stop bringing your ego into trading and you may see yourself absolutely skyrocket, man.
Seriously. So, girl, so girls trade too. What have you been trading? This is phenomenal. Are you long? Are you doing first bounce? What are you doing? Yeah, girls trade too. What are you long? Okay, are you doing the first yeah. bounce? Are you doing the v first bounce? Dude, I, first bounce, baby. Are you under PDT or over? About spot on, bro. Spot on. This is going to probably hit that 90 level. Yep. Girls See, this, trade two this, is doing this the, is the de bounce. This is the deviation I'm talking about. I should have held it, but it's, it's meant for an exercise for just to show you guys how, how risk management does it. So, but who knows, man? That thing went down, you know. I, I set my plan. Next time you guys can set a different plan. My, my you know, so. Uh, this is a day two and a half stock. So I was a little more scared. If it was a day one stock, it'd be different, right? So it depends, you know, so it depends on your risk tolerance, guys. But the point is uh, the entry is spot on. That's what we teach. The exit is very difficult, in my opinion. That's always the most difficult. And that's because of the greed factor for the exits. I mean, look, look at this, man. We're like, I could easily keep doing this shit, making boring ass money all day long. I mean, we teach people to do this. So uh, the difficulty is the we'll come back next week. The difficulty is the greed, the psychology of being able to make boring ass money day on day out and be okay with it. Well, and, and next week guys, we'll talk about the difference of the, con the quote unquote conviction traders who are begging that these things fade all day so they can get $2 on their money while Bao is channel trading and taking these easy layups all single day and getting 20 cents, 20 cents, 20 cents. And by the end of the day, he's made $3 on his money. We'll talk about that in, that in detail as well. Yep. So basically we'll just mentor you guys. Through these <laughs> Dude. Now we get, we can't even, dude, I don't know if we should post this video to YouTube, man. This is too good of a video, bro. Yeah, dude. We okay. saved for ourselves. And I'm serious, who, 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 man. Let's think about this, man. Look how easily, I mean, I wouldn't say easy, but how simple I figured out the line was. You take a look at the chart. I mean, I didn't fucking chase it one bit. It was like dead on exact Bro, line. You're the perfect entry. Um, the, the line, once again, people go, oh, is it 68? But 67 was the low. I mean, the, the point is it's around that area, guys. Area, guys. This is not an exact science. You, you can get 270. You can get 269. I like ace because I'm fucking superstitious, and ace is a lucky Asian number. So yep. that's why I use eight. Dude, I think eight's a lucky number in numerology and everything. Wise. It's the abundant number, right? It's abundance. Uh, some Chinese story. I don't know. So, so basically, the best the best piece of advice you got today is start filling on the eights. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you! I'm gonna start filling the nines. The other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, guys, any closing questions, really quick? Yo, see you two way. See you, buddy. This is such a sick lesson for you guys today, man. I hope you see how, look, trading's not easy. It's never easy, man. If you think it's easy and some days you don't shit a trading diaper, you're wrong. But it's simple, bro. It's so simple. The lines are there. You either trust the line and get in or you don't. It's as simple as that. You either fight trend and lose or you follow trend and win. We cannot make it simpler with any of our strategies. The reason why we promote the first bounce the most is because everybody has access to a long, even if you only have a cash account, for God's sakes, in, an, in a 401k, a SEP IRA, a solo 401k, talk to Brian Rivera for tax purposes. But guys, anybody can do a first bounce, literally anybody. So if you understand that and understand the lines, why do you think Bao got in right there at about 68 and then he knew it would go, it should, quote unquote, should an expected move go to back to 290. This is the, this is how to read a chart. This is not some freaking magic formula, man. It's simple. But can you trust yourself? Can you trust yourself not to be greedy? Can you wait for the lines, which is one of the hardest parts? Can you wait for the line? But Bao, you got your 90, bro. That was it. Yeah. Solid job, man. Solid fucking job. What do you think? Should we end on a good note or do yeah. we have closing as, stuff? As, any more questions, guys? Uh, like I said, call text Tosh. Let me post the number again, Tosh. Uh, yep. Post the number again. Right here, guys. I have it just kind of written right here. You guys can take a screenshot. Or Actually, hold on. I'll just go to. I, I want to ask one favor, everybody. When you watch the videos, please click like for us because it really helps us. We're making these free videos for everybody. And just, you know, we have 2,000 views, 100 likes. <laughs> yeah, guys, for the guys that are for the guys that are coming on the Wednesday webinars and you haven't signed up and you've been watching these every day for two years, fucking give us a like, bro. Go you know, back and you start clicking like on every fucking shit you've been watching. <laughs> give us a freaking like at least, dude. <laughs> We're tap dancing like dogs for you right now. Seriously. All that I'm begging for a like.
I'm begging, I'm begging for a like, dude. Wait until we start our OnlyFans. Then we'll really beg for some likes. Uh, Dogecoin. <laughs> From Dogecoin. Yo, Doge, Dogecoin to right, the moon. Where, so, 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 so Tosh is being generous today. He's going to package things up. Don't text me. I don't know anything about prices. Uh, text Tosh. Dogecoin, baby. <laughs> to the moon. So uh, just final closing words, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Obviously, we do these every single Wednesday. Um, if you guys need any help, man, we have every resource you need. I'm telling you, scanners, new feed, news feeds, stop paying for that shit, man. We cover all this for you in MIC. Between what you're going to save in a news feed, a scanner, between what you're going to save in, in freaking broker fees or commission structures, guys, MIC annual pays for itself. Dude, you just got to break out a spreadsheet and actually implement all the fees associated in your life. And I can almost guarantee you MIC is basically going to pay for itself. And I know you guys are getting value, so please share and like us. And then if you have any questions, man, text us. I'm going to do a bundle deal today only for the, for the guys who reach out to me. I'm either going to give you accelerator a discount or I'm going to combine a couple months and the accelerator for a much discounted rate because I want to get you guys started the right way. So text me. And uh, outside of that, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go see what Dogecoin's doing. <laughs> Leave Bao to his corn dogs or whatever Bao's got going on over there. Thanks, guys. We'll no, thanks for coming, man. That was a freaking awesome lesson, dude. I'm, I, I think everybody got some really good information today. Catch you later, guys, and we'll do it next week. Join MIC. Join <laughs> MIC, man. Join us. Late. I'll see you guys back in the chat. Bye-bye. See you guys.